song time. I'm so excited for what's in this box. Can you move your feet? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm Juby and this is Justin and this is our baby Azalea. After we got married, we bought a bus and for the last two years have been building it out into our full-time home. Living in a tiny house community form and raising our ever-growing baby. So join us for the ride as we quit the nine to five and begin our travels in our big red pepper. Get on up in here, sister. Guys, we are so excited to present to you the surprise. We've been wanting to get this for a very long time. I'm just gonna do this very slowly so I can just add to the dramatic feel. drone I am so excited for this while she's opening it I think that I just want to say that I'm so excited to be able to contribute to the YouTube videos Jibby always gets on to me because I'm not very good at doing camera recording when I should and I think that this is just the thing that will actually get me interested and excited about doing it. Also, this means that we get to bring you guys Ooh, here's the more excellent content as we travel on the road. This is an interesting boxing experience. What you do before I break it. Yeah, I was going to say. That's what I do. I don't read the instructions. Bro, it's tiny. Yeah. So we got DJI. 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 Spark, and I think that overall it's one of the cheapest ones you can get but I also saw that there were reviews of the video quality and they look freaking great to me I'm good with that and we also weren't trying to spend like a grand on a drone so this is gonna work just fine for us came with this I guess styrofoam case and a couple of extra blades all the instructions, oh my gosh, in like a hundred languages. Remote controller. It's so little, I love it. Anyways. <laughs> Juby decided to meddle in my project and I get over here and she's like, I don't know how it works, here, take it. No, you offered to take it. I've tried multiple different things. That drone over there doesn't want to work. Anyway, I'm going to read the instructions. Azalea, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at those big old teeth, girlfriend, you cutie pie. If you guys are ever considering to come to North Carolina, I will advise you, don't come in the summer. It's horrific. Unless you're planning on going to like a lake or something. Woo, it's very muggy and gross. And there's mosquitoes. Uh, no, Azalea, don't steal the camera from me. Azalea is sleeping, so I can't really leave the bus right now. And Justin promised that he would video a bit flying the drone for the first time and I see him out the window flying the drone for the first time and not videoing so it's quite exciting I guess he figured out how to connect it to his phone and is filming slash flying is it smooth? Uh, the battery level is low, so I'm gonna let it. It says it's gonna go to the home point in 10 seconds. So it just comes right back here. Yeah. That's so crazy. Wait, where is it? There it is. Oh my gosh, why does it go so high for coming home? Uh, that is not good. Oh my gosh, why don't you, why don't you just bring it down, babe? I'm trying to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The home is not in outer that is space. Not a good home spot. That is definitely not a good home spot. I think you need to recalibrate. Nice. How does it feel? Wow. Compared to the one that I flew in the UK, <laughs> this Lucas. thing is a dream. Yeah, good. Wow. Oh my god. Excited. This is going to be absolutely unbelievable. We are going to come up with the coolest footage with this. Wow. I'm so excited. 
good. Okay. All right, I've got to get back inside. I've been working on a little bit of branding for this whole personal brand that we're building here, Justin and Juby. So if you like our new logo, give us a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, check out all sunflowers. So as we prepare for our road trip that is coming up, I actually went and bought a map um, so that we could kind of draw it out and I think we're going to maybe stick it to the ceiling of our bedroom and then we'll be able to look at it when we're resting and dream of the places that we want to go. I'm a little excited about that and I think we're going to sit and maybe do a little bit of planning. Meanwhile, Justin is having one of his go-to snacks. <laughs> that was an azalea face game. I just want to say how at home I feel, how good it makes me feel when I have peanut butter and apples. It's the best simple, snack. Simple, simple treat. It's my favorite snack. What's your favorite peanut butter, other than the peanut butter that your wife makes? Very good call. <laughs> other than that, it's the peanut butter my wife makes. No, other than that is the peanut butter is this. Nope. Just the peanut butter uh, Just everything. <laughs> Only the peanut butter that I make. In case you needed to know, we eat from Smucker's Natural and we always go for the chunky kind. Don't touch my peanut butter. <laughs> oh, I won't. This is takeoff. This is land. Here's the joysticks. Here's the camera buttons. And I don't know what the rest of this does, so we still have to figure that out. The camera doesn't work because we don't have any SD card in there. Oh, that's so boring. But we just have to practice flying now. Are you ready? Okay, ensure that conditions are safe for takeoff. Aircraft will go to an altitude of 1.2 meters and hover in place. What's keeping? It was just showing you. That's so cool. How's it feel, babe? <laughs> Pretty good. Now use the screen once it gets far away. That's oh, it's scary, dude. It's a beast, isn't it? Oh, this is so cool that you can see the foam. <laughs> now go real, real high. Azalea's like, oh my god, what is this UFO? Look at the bus! <laughs> Azalea's concerned about Juby's landing skills. This doesn't look so good, guys. <laughs> Can she land it on the helipad? <laughs> You're scaring Azalea. It's okay, Azalea. Nice and slow. All you have to do is get it over the top of it. Now press the landing button. Nope, you're not quite over it yet. <laughs> there you go. Now press the landing button. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> my bad. Dang. I pressed the toggle by accident <laughs> and it moved. <laughs> well, we just wanted to give you guys the lowdown, the scoop, the super juicy. Lowdown. Juice, the lowdown. Um, and fill you in on all the things that are changing. So we're gonna be, well, <laughs> we're gonna be- interesting wildlife on this farm. <laughs> we're gonna be leaving the farm in like three weeks. Um, that's our plan. We're gonna be heading down to visit Fayetteville um, and see Justin's family before we head up north. Is there anything else you wanna to add to that? We're hitting the road! Yeah, we've been here on the farm for like over a year and it's been a really special place to us and we just were reminiscing. It's been such a beautiful and amazing experience developing Community One. The neighbors, friends, and the, the people we've developed relationships with have been absolutely... I know, tell me about it. They've been absolutely amazing. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade those folks for the world. But also, too, it, it really allowed us the sanctuary where we were able to concentrate on making this life transition. This life transition is not easy. I mean, you've got to have a place to park the bus. You have to make the time to build the bus. You have to cut your bills. You have to 
figure out your life transition and like figure out if it's gonna work for you. There's a million things under the sun you have to do. And this place was our home to be able to do that. And for that, we are so, we, we look back on this time, we were so appreciative. It meant the world to us. That was very nice, Lisa. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that also <clears throat> comes with a long list of things to do before we get on the road, and I'm uh, kind of stressing yeah. about it. I'm we do. Anxious so about Justin's it. working for the rest of this coming week, uh, and then we basically have a week to finish the bus as best we can. Here's a list of the things we need to do, and this is just on the bus. This doesn't include our life. We've got a lot of things to work on for the bus. We've got a lot of things to work on for our life. We've got to close out some things here. Make sure that, like, you know, all our forward mailing is figured out. We then. Our last dentist appointments um, with the dental insurance that we've got coverage through um, Justin's work. So you're getting your wisdom teeth out. Um, we went and, saw the, <laughs> went and saw the doctor and just did one last checkup of everything. This is our just last week of really just fully enjoying, I feel like being here on the farm and just kind of a regular routine of Monday through Friday, what we've been doing for over a year. And then the next week after that is just full on bus project mode. And then the week after that, man, we're just gonna be traveling. It's crazy. I can't wait. Me too. I'm excited to see where we end up going, where the road takes us. I'm also trying to remind myself that even if we don't get all the things on our list done, not a big deal. They will come and they will be finished in time. Yeah. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to accomplish everything. <laughs> Let's shoot for the stars and see how it comes out. The most important thing is, is we made it to the end and I'll be doggone. Once we hit that road, there's no stopping us. So we just wanted to sit down and take the time to just like update and just let you know where we're at, what's going on in our world, and yeah. You know what I love too? I love hearing about all of your bus projects. Yeah, that is pretty or awesome. Or all of your traveling projects or all of your dreams, just where you're at. I love hearing that in the comment section. So you guys keep us updated, man, with what's going on in your life and uh, how your projects are coming along too. Tons of inspiration to hear from other folks who are following the same journey or did this journey years ago. Seeing a lot of different support through the comments here on the YouTube. So thanks guys for that. And patrons, thank you. Yeah, to all of the new jam. patrons, you guys rock. Every, each one of you is unique and special in your own right. You're so special and we love you. <laughs> Even the people who aren't our patrons, we still love you. We love you too, <laughs> and we always will. All right, we should go. Is that that? Unless you guys want to keep hearing Justin sing. Ah, we're gonna take a shower now. Peace out. See ya.